Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the lesson number two of our Arabic alphabet course. Let us begin. So now we are going to learn about the next two letters of the Arabic alphabets. Ba, ta, and sa. Ba somewhat corresponds to the English letter B. What this means is that the sound of ba is similar to the sound of the English letter B. Ba. Ta also corresponds to the English letter T. So ta sound and T sound are same. Ta and English letter T, ta. Sa somewhat corresponds to the combination TH. There is no uh, alphabet in Arabic that corresponds to sa, so we have to make it a combination. This combination is called TH. TH is supposed to make the same sound as sa. So sa and this is also sa. Ba, ta and sa are all written in the same body. So what this means is that ba is like this, ta is also like this, and sa is also like this. It's just a long horizontal curve. So ba, ta and sa are all written with the same body. Ba is also written like this, ta is also written like this, and sa is also written like this. It's just a long horizontal curve. As we have already learned before, all the Arabic alphabets have four forms depending on the place they are found. So the forms of the ba, ta and sa also will be there. Here we see that the forms of ba, ta and sa are quite similar to each other. The only difference seen is the dots. So the ba has one dot below itself and that is seen in every single version of it. Ta has two dots above it and that is also seen in every single version. And sa has three dots above it and that is seen in all the four forms. So the only difference between ba, ta and sa are the dots. Ba has a dot below it, ta has a ta two dots above it, and sa has three dots above it. So it is very important to learn the dots of these letters. Now, in the beginning, we see that the ba is cut off from its original version. So this is ba, and this is like cut off version of ba. So if I take an example, it will be ba bun. So this is ba, and this is another ba. This is a full bar. So this is bar, right? Now over here, we can see that this version of bar is clearly seen. And uh, the other version of Aleph also is clearly seen, which we studied yesterday. Now in the middle, we see that it has a kind of um, extension from here, then a line on top and another line here. This we can see in many examples like Yab Hasu. So if I write Yab Hasu, we see that there is Ba, first there is Ya. So if I put the dots correctly, you will see that first there is Ya, and then there is Ba, and then there is Ha and Sa. So this is Ba over here in the middle, and you see that this Ba and this Ba is very, very similar. That's because it's a middle version. There's a word here, with that it's taking the sleepy line and there's another word here so it has to again join with it now this ending bar we can see it's very very similar to this bar right this ending bar is similar to the by itself version or the original form of bar this is because as i said in many letters the ending version of some letter will be same now let's move on to the ta the ta by itself or the original form is very similar to ba, only it has the two dots above. This is crucial and it's the only difference here, difference between them and between the ta and the ba. And the beginning version of ta is similar again to the beginning version of ba, and it has the only difference is the two dots on top. The middle version also has only two dots on top. The middle version of ba has one dot below and the middle version of ta has two dots above. This is the only difference between them. And the ending version is again similar to the original form. And the only this extension we see it because of uh, the letter below it. It has a letter before it and so this extension is seen in ta and in ba also. Now sa, it has three dots on top. 
so that's the only difference of it and fa also has three words, three dots on top in its beginning form and the middle form and the end form so we see that dots are very important in arabic language all these letters the only difference you can see in them in any form is the dots so we need to learn again that ba has only one dot ta has two dots above it and sa has three dots above it these dots are very very important for the arabic language i hope this was clear to you now if you have any questions or inquiries i'll be sure to answer them please feel free to comment them below if you like this video please share this subscribe to this channel and like this video thank you